Hello there. You might wonder why I'm watering my car. Well, it's um, summer where I am, and uh, while it's not snowing, it sure is raining an awful lot. And I've been noticing uh, recently on opening the boot a uh, bit of water's getting in back here. Uh, mostly what's getting wet is the uh, lower parts of the spare wheel well, so it hasn't done any damage, but it's no good. Um, see this fabric pad the jack sits on here is uh, just uh, soaking, saturated with water. So in this video, I'm just going to uh, track down this leak and then uh, later on in the process of fixing it, I'll be taking off the rear wiper arm. Uh, if you're just here to see that, then uh, you can just skip forward a few minutes. Now the first clue uh, here, uh, as I said, is nothing else is wet. I checked all the carpet and these uh, bits off to the sides and it's all dry. But where I've been noticing the water, is uh, it, it collects in this recess here uh, where the boot latch sits. You can see the uh, dried out patch here. So I think uh, the water is just uh, draining out of those holes and straight down into the, uh, into the steel well. So the question is, where's that coming from? Above, obviously, uh, which means it's either making its way around from the side somehow, uh, or it's draining out from the boot hatch itself, probably from the uh, the latch mechanism, uh, which would imply that it's something on the boot hatch leaking. So a bit of testing then. Um, I just got some dry tissue paper and placed it here so as to easily see any water. And I just started working through the obvious possibilities. And to isolate the uh, particular area that you're testing, you can use a towel or something to soak up the uh, the runoff water. I just checked the uh, the window washer jack grommet here. This is something that does run down inside the hatch cavity, but it uh, it looked okay and the paper stayed dry. Um, I also sprayed water into the body hatch gap um, where, where the boot opens. Well, water here should drain out the sides, uh, but I just checked in case it was somehow finding a way in. Uh, that water should drain out like this. Um, if you look uh, when the hatch is open, you can see it runs around the outside here and then disappears down by the lights and uh, falls out underneath there. Paper still dry. So what I had left were the seals on the hatch itself, namely the windscreen seals um, and the, uh, the wiper grommet. So I checked the windscreen seals first. So they certainly look okay to a visual inspection. Uh, I couldn't see any gaps uh, nor any sign of any real deterioration in the rubber, so I'd be surprised if uh, they were leaking, but it's always possible. And my suspicion was, uh, as you might have guessed by now, the wiper arm. So I isolated that best I could with the towel here, just to keep it dry this time. And some of that water will run over the hatch rear and uh, make a mess, but it shouldn't make it back inside uh, anyway. And by the, by the way, you, uh, you do need to wait a few minutes each time you do this uh, before checking uh, as any leaks might take a while to actually you know, stake their way through whatever path they're taking. Anyway, paper still dry. So process of elimination, uh, I was at this grommet which seals the hole where the rear windscreen wiper motor pokes out through the, uh, through the hatch. So I gave that a good dousing and a few minutes later, sure enough, I was seeing a wet tissue. So at least it's not a windscreen seal, uh, but that leak is uh, not just annoying in the water that gets in the spare wheel well, uh, it's presumably also getting the wiper motor and uh, maybe nearby wiring wet, uh, because obviously the motor is uh, directly below that hole, so it definitely wants to be fixed. To do that, uh, you could just bodge the outside with some silicone sealant uh, without removing anything. Uh, but that's going to look terrible and uh, it might not seal as well as you'd think because uh, there's not really a concave gap to fill up. And, you know, over time as you uh, wash the car with a brush or whatever, you might sort of uh, pick away the silicone there. Um, it's easy enough to take everything off here and uh, that's what I did. Uh, this is how you remove the wiper arm itself, obviously, if you need to replace that or uh, start to get at the motor underneath for some reason. The uh, the shroud cover there just pops up and the, the wiper arm is retained with a 13mm nut. Comes off very easily. Uh, the bracket for the arm is splined onto a uh, tapered fitting below the nut thread um, and its spring tends to hold it on there. Uh, so I needed a tool just to uh, pry it up a bit before it would lift off. 
Uh, you might also want to make a note of where on the windscreen uh, it was positioned because uh, it needs to go back in the same place. So now the grommet, uh, this just does just uh, pull out, but it has a lip on the underside uh, which retains it quite well. So you'll need something uh, like this to uh, get under it and lever it out without dam uh, damaging the body paint. Uh, once I had this out, the area around it was uh, quite dirty and messy. Uh, that might indicate on its own that water was getting in there, by the way. Um, and this is what the, uh, the bottom side looks like after I've cleaned it up. Now, one thing to note is this tab on it, uh, which locates its orientation when it's put in. Now, the thing about that is um, it has quite a large cutout in the steel, and I wonder if it's not there that, that's the, uh, the weak point for water ingress. Now, you could uh, replace this part. I'm uh, sure that you can buy it somewhere, if not from Ford, um, if you want a new rubber. But for my part, I think a, a bit of silicone sealant will do the job. Again, I don't think you want it on the outside, but uh, I thought what I thought was best was to uh, just sort of lay a bead around the inside of this lip, enough to come into contact with the steel, but not so much it'll squeeze out and make a mess when you put it back in. Um, I think that'll fill, fill any gaps around that tab too, so we'll see. Now, by the way, I had cleaned all the paintwork as well as the rubber with uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, obviously, you want everything completely clean and dry for this to work. And it was a bit of an effort to get it back in because of that lip. If you have a lot of trouble, you could try warming the rubber up with a, um, a hot air gun. Uh, but in, in, my, in the event, I managed to get it in in the end. If you do get any excess silicone, squeeze out, you make a mess, then have that alcohol on hand to uh, clean it up quickly afterwards before it can set. Now when I put the uh, the wiper arm back on, I put a little anti-seize on the splines and the thread here, uh, just because I noticed a little bit of rust around the area. Uh, when you position the wiper arm, it needs to be oriented manually. Um, unless your windscreen's spotless, uh, there's probably some marks on it that will make it obvious where to put it. Uh, nut on, tighten it down, and then uh, flip the shroud back on, and done. Now, the only thing I'd say in closing is obviously the sealant uh, needs time to dry, so do try to keep the car out of heavy rain for uh, 24 hours or so. But otherwise, I'm hoping that that's my leak fixed. Have fun.